All right, y'all. Today we are going to be working on a Razor dirt bike. Not sure of the model number, but it is 36 volts. This is one of my neighbors up the street. This was his son's, and his son is now driving, like cars driving. And he has a younger family member that he wants to give it to. And he put it on the charger, it wouldn't charge, so that means that the battery's bad. He went on Amazon, ordered three batteries. Uh, he already got the plastics off because he wanted to verify that the batteries were correct. So he just dropped this off. And I figured I would go ahead and knock it out since it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, so the side cover's already off. And you see the three batteries. We are going to hook them up uh, the exact same way they came out. So I'm going to get y'all set up. And we're going to get these switched out, get it charged, and we should be good to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this bolt out. And then this should release the top battery and the module this side was already out uh, and I have a bag of bag of bolts so hopefully that bolt is in here somewhere if the top plate should just slot off it's off to the side and then I'm thinking this battery these are soldered on they don't have the, uh, the little clip things on them so I'm going to get my wire cutters I'm going to cut these off and I'm gonna see if I have some terminals where I can just slip on those new batteries. But I gotta find some that are big enough to where this gauge wire will fit in. And let's just backtrack real quick. Uh, we do have three fuse holders. We'll go ahead and remove all three of those fuse holders. That way you can minimize uh, potentially shocking the mess out of yourself or shorting or burning anything out. And I went ahead and labeled. Uh, these two top and then the bottom plate the screw was already undone on that side and it's missing on that side so this should just come on out like so and it should free the batteries to come out and in these applications always label your wiring so I have left negative right positive and then of course this is going to be left positive and right negative because this is connecting both the batteries so always make sure that you label your wiring before you take it apart because if you don't you go put it back together you put some backwards or wrong best case scenario it has less than 36 volts because you wired it wrong. Worst case scenario, your house catches on fire. So, and you hope that the fuses blow before something catches on fire. That's a lot of hope to put in that. So in my kit of Harbor Freight wire connectors, I found one that fits. It is tight, but it fits. This is the 16 to 14 gauge wire clip and then it just it slides on the new terminals. Perfect. For the positives, I'm going to use red heat shrink tubing for the negatives. I'm going to use black. Uh, in order to strip the wire like so, as many methods, I have some vice grip. Um, wire strippers they also crimp as well all right so all of the connections are crimped and heat shrink so you got four here and the last two here so now let's get everything thrown in there the, the bottom batteries are in all of the harnesses for the bottom is connected so now just gonna take the bottom bracket and get it installed and then we'll get to getting the top battery on the top bracket and we should be good everything is back connected I have three new 30 amp fuses let's get these connected 
and then let's see if we have power. All three fuses are in. Let's give it a little power on. And we have power. Let's give it a little blip. I hear something clicking. Oh, oh, there we go. Yep. We got power. All right. So let me get it turned off. And let's finish. Let's finish um, getting everything put together. Let's get it on the charger. And I'm going to get it cleaned up. It's a little dirty. It's not terribly dirty. It's not terribly dirty at all. But it's a little bit dirty. I can't do anything about the fender being warped. I may try to hit it with the heat gun. Uh, just try to do a little spit shine. And just get it looking good. That way uh, when it gives it to... I can't remember if it was his nephew. Uh, it'll be looking good. I don't like returning stuff dirty. So everything is back together. Got it cleaned up. You know, did a quick little spit shine on it. Got it on the charger. Uh, I did adjust the brakes. Because they weren't all that tight. Uh, what else did I do? I did all the chain. Because it was a little rusty. Uh, the chain guard was mounted on the inside of the bracket and it was hitting uh, the sprocket bolts. Put the chain guard on the outside. Sounds a whole lot better. And well, other than that, after this bad boy charges, it should be good to go. So they should have plenty of fun. And I like how the Z50R and the Razor 36 volt are roughly the exact same size. Pretty cool. All right, well, I will see tomorrow if I attempt to put my six foot one, 223 pound self on this and see if it takes me uh, around the street. So, we shall see. Let's see. Hey. Pulls decent with all this weight on it. You know, it ain't nothing fast. I'll be curious to see. Oh, the back brake works decent. I'll be curious to see how it does going back to the house uphill. So going uphill. Oh yeah. Right, so you put a 80 pound kid on this, this is probably a blast. Right, so he's just pulling this 223, 24 pounds. Decent. This would be cool for like a pit bike, going around track and stuff like that. Nothing too fast. Just enough so you ain't gotta walk. Oh yeah, it pulls up heels. Pretty consistent. Yeah, so I will say that this is fixed. Like I said, if I have some time, a few minutes before he picks it up to try to fix uh, this fender, to try to straighten out a little bit, I will. I'm about to eat dinner. Park it right here beside the Z50R. But this is probably the end. So just something simple, quick, you know, if you have one of these, you can fix it for the price of three batteries in about an hour, really. So, not a whole lot to it. So, this is the SX500, I guess. I'm not sure really what the model is. Yeah, the Razor 500. 36 volt. And, yeah, this would be a cool little cheap pit bike to ride around on the pit so like little car shows and stuff it's quiet not fast enough to get you in trouble but that battery power that torque it pulled me just fine so if you got one or you're thinking about picking one up 
or you know what one is and it doesn't run, throw some batteries in it, get a charger if you don't have it, and it'd be real fun for a little kid, like I said, or for a pit bike. Be really cheap too. So, like always, remember, think, build, and most importantly, enjoy. Peace.